In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for ZNO plus HCl. This is zinc oxide plus hydrochloric acid. First thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. So to balance the molecular equation, I can see I have two chlorines here and just one here. Let's put a two in front of the HCl. Now we have two hydrogens. Those are good. We have a zinc here, zinc here, oxygen, oxygen. We're done. That's the balanced molecular equation. Now we can write the states for each substance. Zinc oxide, that's going to be a solid. And then hydrochloric acid, strong acid, this is going to be aqueous. Zinc chloride, chlorides are very soluble, so this will also be aqueous. It'll dissolve, split apart into its ions. And water, that's just a liquid. So we have the states for our net ionic equation. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. We won't split the zinc oxide up, that's a solid. So in net ionic equations, we don't split up solids. So we'll just have zinc oxide. And I'll write the states in at the end. Or hydrogen that's in group one on the periodic table has a one plus charge. The chloride ion, one minus. Hydrochloric acid, again, a strong acid, it's aqueous. So we can split this up. Two hydrogen ions plus two chloride ions. And these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the zinc chloride, zinc is a transition metal, but it's always two plus. We said the chloride ion, one minus. So we have our zinc ion, Zn two plus, and then we have two of these chloride ions, so two Cl minus. In net ionic equations, we don't split liquids apart, so we have H2O, just like this. That's the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross the spectator ions out. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. The only thing that's the same in the reactants and the products, these two chloride ions right here. So since these are the same, we can cross these out and that'll give us the net ionic equation for ZNO plus HCl. Let me clean this up and write the states in and we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is our balanced net ionic equation for zinc oxide plus hydrochloric acid. Here in the reactants, we have two times the one plus, so we have a two plus. In the products, we have a two plus. So those balance out. If you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for ZNO plus HCl. Thanks for watching.